number you get a relation in figure 8 as a result okay so this is this is just one simple application on relation when you study database okay the full the the the, the theory for database you will study a lot of this they they will use a lot of relation and use um, you know many theory on on database is described as relation um, the rest of the lecture will be about so this this part will be about we can about how to represent relations we have studied that relation has many property okay, reflexive symmetric and so on uh, well we know what it mean by those property but we want to uh, analyze it analyze those property in an easy way so is there any any way we can see the properties easily Second, this representation of relation tell you how to represent it in computer as well. So you can, you can, you, you have a data structure to represent relation. So the first or the only one, the only representation that I will describe is zero one matrix. We can represent a binary relation uh, as a matrix. So and then we can represent matrix in you know in your data structure easily. Well, and this help us to to see the to see the property of relation easily. Okay, so here we have two domain, boys and girls. So in each domain, there are many elements in the domain. Okay, suppose we want to talk about like relation between people in different domain, and suppose that we have three uh, three information on like relationship, Susan, Mary, and so on. Susan, Mary, Fred, Mary, and so on. We can represent this relation as this matrix, um, where the row will represent um, element in go domain and the column. Well, I don't know which one, but you know each each way you know from is come from each domain, and one means that there is a relation between the corresponding elements in row and column. Okay, for example, one here it's mean that um, so Lai is from boy to girl, right? So Joe Lai Susan is a way like that boy has to like girl first, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, one means that it's true, it's true that boy uh, that Joe Lai Susan zero means otherwise. And then when we represent a relation as matrix, many properties can be seen easily. For example, reflexive. If you look at the diagonal line, if they are all one, then your relation is reflexive. If it is all zero, it, mean, it means it's, it is not, or it is irreflexive. Okay, it's, it's, it's different from not, not reflexive. Irreflexive is, means that you know there is no relation there is no relation between the same element at all okay at all not even one okay symmetric you can also analyze easily by looking at the value across the diagonal line if it have the same value 1 1 0 0 then it means symmetric right because this one will mean that you know some relation, some element A, for example, is related to B. This one will mean that B also related to A. Zero means no relation. Okay. Anti-symmetric. So you got to look at the same value. Uh, you got to look at the value across the diagonal line. So it got to be different. You got to uh, you got to get the different value across the diagonal line and on the diagonal line it can be anything it can be zero it can be one because anti-symmetric allow reflexive if you get all one it means your, your relation is reflexive so this help you to to see uh, to analyze the property easily okay there, there is other uh, way to represent the relation uh, there are other way to represent relation for example, you can use graph, but we will explain on that later on. 
um, the next topic will be about closure of relation. Okay. So let's have a look at one example on relation R. We can see that this relation R is not reflexive, right? Because it lacks B B. Okay, B and B B is not related to itself here. So closure of relation is about how to extend a relation so that it has a required property. Okay. So in this case, it's not reflexive, but um, we want to extend this relation R so that it becomes reflexive. The result is called closure of relation R. It is closure on reflexive. Okay. So in this case, um, if we want to, to extend R to get reflexive, we can add BB into R. And we are interested in the minimum extension of relation R. What would be the least, um, you know, uh, how, how to add the min the um, how to add the at least as possible to relation R so that R become reflexive. So minimum extension. Okay. Uh, if we look at the general definition of reflexive closure, it's very simple. It says that the reflexive closure of relation R is the smallest superset of R that is reflexive. Okay, firstly, it includes R because it is the superset of R. Secondly, it is smallest. It means, you know, you, you, you superset means extension, right? Smallest means you are interested in minimum extension. And the result, the whole thing got to be reflexive. So three point here. Okay. So closure is very good because um, you can apply closure for many things, like symmetric closure, transitive closure, and so on. And, and any other property, not necessary on set, uh, not, not necessary on relation, you can apply closure on set as well. If you have an operation on set, and you want your set to be, to be. Um, to be closed under that operation, you can apply this closure as well. Uh, to get reflexive closure, very easy. You just add this part AA for any A in the domain into your original relation R. So this this one is an extension. Okay. And it guarantees that this is the minimum of extension. Um, this example tell you a little bit on this closure. Let um, uh, have a look at this. Uh, okay, you got you got this R, right? R is not reflexive because there is no BB. You can extend it many way. The first one is the second line. Okay, this one is reflexive closure. But another way to extend it is by relation S. It's not a minimum extension because it consists AC. Okay, AC here is not necessary. It's not in the original relation. Okay, so S is not the closure. Okay, you you are not doing the minimum extension. Symmetric closure can be done easily as well. If you have relation R, you can just add the reverse of relation R. The reverse of relation R is R power minus 1, which can be constructed by this. Okay. Quite easy for symmetric closure. But for transitive closure, things become a little bit... Oh, this is... We get the wrong symbol here. It's not Y. This is union. Did you see? Do you see the union here as well? Could you union, man? เหรอแล้วมันกลายเป็นวายได้ไงเนี่ยเหรอโอ้แปลกดีนะผมไม่อยากแก้เดี๋ยวมันจะยิ่งปิดไปกันใหญ่แต่นี่คือยูเนียน
So our style here is connectivity relation. 